demonstrations um, outside uh, the building where we are at COP26 today. 10,000 police officers are uh, manning this whole event, expecting something like 100,000 demonstrators and protesters. Greta Thunberg arrived to a rock star welcome. That was um, earlier, actually, I think it was on Saturday, wasn't it? Um, and we are expecting Insulate Britain to uh, demonstrate as well. Cameron Ford is joining us now from Cambridge, so not here. Hi, Cameron. Thanks for joining us on the programme. What are you hoping for from uh, COP26? I'm hoping for a lot, but I'm expecting the worst. OK, tell me a little bit more than that. Well, just uh, the fact that this is the 26th COP we've had. Uh, they failed us so far. What's to say this one's going to be any different? Our government is betraying us. We've seen that with the recent budget cuts. Uh, we're seeing that day in, day out. The government is committing treason. And, uh, and we can't stand by and see that anymore. That's why the campaign of nonviolent civil resistance has continued. Treason's quite a strong word, isn't it, Cameron? Why do you say treason? Well, Boris has said if COP fails, if Glasgow fails, the whole thing fails. So that means genocide. Uh, if the government is responsible for our welfare in, re in remaining uh, to keep under two Celsius, which Chatham House has said, we have a 5% chance of staying under a two Celsius average global temperature. I call that treason. But Cameron, it's not just up to the Prime Minister, is it? I mean, it's up to the bigger countries like um, India and China and Russia and Brazil. We're just <clears> our <throat> emissions yeah, sure. are tiny compared our, our emissions are tiny compared to the rest of the world or some of the rest of the world. Everyone's really doing a terrible job here. Let's not blow our own trumpet and look to shift the blame. It's not India or China's fault that we're going to have over eight and a half thousand people die from cold homes this winter, is it? OK, but it is their fault that their global emissions are significantly higher than ours. And all we can do is put conferences What's together like this the Prime Minister. What's that going to achieve, if I, can, if I can just finish, Cameron, if I could just yeah. finish. Um, and the Prime Minister is bringing together as many people as he can. He says we're at a minute to midnight and he says he's doing everything he can to try to bring down those uh, fossil fuel emissions so that we do stay below the one and a half degrees. Smells a bit pooey to me. Boris is absolutely lying. He's consistently lying. He's a constant greenwasher. He's going to go there, tell the world how we're leaders of the green revolution. That's absolutely crap. Have you told your audience what a two Celsius world looks like, which is what we're on track for? Because I believe they want to know that if COP fails, they need to know what it's going to look like. Are you going to tell them what societal collapse looks like, Kay? I think that's what we are trying to do, Cameron. And okay, using that's it. A better Kay, language. are you going to and... tell them? Cameron, Cameron, let me ask the questions and then you can answer them, if you wouldn't mind. And um, if you could probably temper your language just a little bit for a breakfast audience, otherwise you're going to get me oh, in all I sorts guess. of trouble and nobody oh, yeah, wants that. Yeah. Are, no your methods, are your methods of protest the right way to get the public on side, would you say? This is not about getting the public on side. This is getting the government to act in their, it's their duty to look after us, which they're not doing. And we need to talk about, Boris says we're at one minute to midnight. It's five past midnight, I'm sorry, but we are, need non-violent civil resistance. Otherwise we're hurtling towards societal collapse. And that means there's going to be slaughter, rape, genocide. There's gonna be no NHS that will collapse. There'll be no pensions. We're going to see a thousand million people, climate refugees on the move. And when we have food shortages in this country, it's going to be cutthroats on the cereal aisle in Morrison's. It's going to be a bloodbath. And you need to tell your audience that if COP fails, this is what's coming. And super gluing yourself to the motorways the way forward, is it? Well, it got me on your show, didn't it, Kay? It did, but I wonder how much people are actually about taking account Celsius of what you're... Well. Cameron, well, Cameron, Cameron, let me just finish. Let me just finish, Cameron, and then you can answer my question. Can, you, can I just finish and then you can answer my question? That would be great. Thank you. It did get me on the show, but some of the rhetoric that you're using, I'm allowing you to try to get the audience back on side. And they're not at the moment. So I'm giving you the platform to explain how you can get my viewers back on side so that you can take them with you rather than sure. alienate them. OK, well, I hope that as people understand which we're getting to talk about this by getting this platform. We're getting to tell the audience that the next three to four years will determine the future of humanity. If people really connect with what Sir David King has said there, 
then they would be out on the streets in civil resistance themselves. And they would need to come together in civil resistance against the treason this government is committing, against the empty promises. We need to be in civil resistance to the fuel poverty in this country, to them selling off the NHS, to them spewing shit in our rivers and to the greed and corruption of the government. We need to rise up and be in civil resistance because when COP fails, what else is there to do? Uh, OK, Cameron, so you've got me in trouble again now by using other words that we're not allowed to use at breakfast time. Hopefully you will come back on again and hopefully you'll sort that potty mouth out. Thanks very much well, for joining us on the programme this out, morning. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. So um, Extinction Rebellion are um, already protesting. Uh, Insulate Britain were also expecting uh, to protest. Something like 100,000 protesters is what the organisers of COP26 are expecting. They're outside of this very strong ring of steel. Well, the uh, world leaders will be gathering. We've seen Boris Johnson welcoming many of them already this morning, including the UN Secretary General. Um, and amongst others, we will see him saying hello to President Macron again very shortly indeed that's not him of course um, and uh, that is because of the fishing concerns between the French and the British